morning guys it's the second of june um i'm feeling better this morning i can feel i'm recovering from my work on monday i guess it was whenever i worked for the customer but however many days it's been um i can feel my body actually and everything starting to recover um which is nice um uh, i slept decent last night uh you know, as far as start to finish, um, but still, you know, I just, I get, I toss and turn all fucking night, all damn night, you know, so you wake up, you wake up every time you toss and turn, you know, so if you toss and turn every five minutes, you're waking up every fucking five minutes, maybe not opening your eyes and going, you know, and, and talking, but you're waking up and then going back to sleep, um, Also, so, uh, I've had a couple people hit me up. Um, I think this, I think what's going on it, from right now. So I, you know, I'm, I have no expectations guys. I just, I'm hoping, first of all, I'm hoping this heals me. This help heals me, which it's doing. Um, secondly, you know, if I was to die, if I have a heart attack today, I hope that this, these videos um, are a documentation for my children. Um, you know, maybe I'm putting out things out there. Like I said, I was an alcoholic for most of my life. So, um, you know, hopefully whatever in my drunken stupor that I forgot to tell my kids, um, you know, they can glean off of these videos. Uh, thirdly is to help other people. Um, Really, uh, this is an epidemic, guys. This is so much worse than I can even make it out to be. Um, the whole healthcare industry, healthcare industry. Uh, guys, people are waking up. Waking up. And if you're a dinosaur, if you're one of those idiots who are still believing in all these institutions and all of these fucking government agencies, guys, you better wake the fuck up. Now's the time. Your health, your life. Look, if you got children, your children are looking up to you. Your decisions, you need to make those knowingly, willingly, with a clear, sound mind. You have to critically think about what you're doing, guys. Your kids are watching. Your family's watching. People look up to you. They are seeing how you make your decisions, and that's how they will make theirs. So you're an example. We are examples. Um... You know, my buddy hit me up. He's like, dude, they did the same thing to me at 27. You know, try to write me off and give me all these fucking meds. And uh, that's the thing, guys. If they're going to do it, that's what I'm trying to say. That's why this is so fucking important. That's why we speak out. That's why we're trying to break the stigma of of these issues. Because, the only look, the only way we lose at, when we keep our mouth shut. We lose when we keep our mouth shut. Nothing gets better. Nothing changes when we keep our mouths shut. More people continue to get hurt. We need to start talking. We need to start speaking out. We need to get in communities. Um, and we need to start taking care of each other and looking out for each other. And we got to start thinking for ourselves. And we got to break that, that fucking bond we have to these institutions and these organizations. And because otherwise, guys, nothing's going to change. If you're expecting... Your salvation to come from an outside source, you're fucked. Nothing's ever going to change. You are fucked. You are being, you are a pawn. You are being played. If you're not living your life according to your beliefs, according to what your heart, your intuition, your soul, your spirit is telling you, you are playing somebody else's game and you are fucked. So take that for what you want to take it for, but... That's what it is. That's the message I'm getting out. Um, I will continue to put out. There's no room for bullshit. No room for lies. Um, you know, of course, I'm not perfect. I'm not even fucking trying to say that, guys. Uh, you know, I got my own perspective I come from. Um, you know, I'm still in a fucking concussion. Uh, but yeah, I have no agenda other than to fucking squash this shit and stop these cocksuckers from taking advantage of people. I hate seeing that shit. Um, 
you know, so it's time we stand up for ourselves. It's time we be vocal. Fuck it. I'm telling you guys, they win when we shut the fuck up. They are so afraid of us saying shit. They are so afraid of us talking. They are so afraid. Because we hold the power, guys. Each one of us individually holds the fucking power. Now, me as an individual person, I can't do much. But, man, you get three or four more people like me, and that becomes pretty fucking powerful. Now, you get hundreds, you get people on board like that, man. That, that's where the power comes from. It's that easy. And it can happen like that, guys. It can happen like that. Um, we just got to quit being lazy. We got to quit drinking the Kool-Aid. We got to just stop. Um, you know, and it starts with being honest with yourself. And that's not easy to do. Um, but yeah, so those are my thoughts. Um, you know, even if this, the, these videos just help one other person, it's so worth it. Um, one other per help one other person from going through being raped, being raped, being abused and raped by the medical system. That's what we're trying to stop. Love y'all.